coming up on Fresh Dew with Pastor Inkechi Ene. The Holy Spirit is a game changer in your life. The Holy Spirit is who keeps you in active mode. The Holy Spirit is who gets you maximizing the blessing. The Holy Spirit is who gets you revealing the glory of God. Beautiful on the mountains are the feet of him who comes with good news, who gives word of peace, saying that salvation is near, who says to Zion, your God is ruling. We invite you to become a partner today. Visit www.freshdew.tv or call 0700 Fresh Dew. That is plus 234 700. 37374339 Previously on Fresh Dew But God said let us make man in our image Let us make man like us of the same DNA of the same life Once you get born again you are living the life of God though you are physically on this earth Let that mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. He did not think it robbery, something he had to grasp and struggle with. He was at ease being God. Matthew's account. Matthew 3, 16. And when he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately we're talking about dormant mode to what? Jesus came up immediately from the water. And behold, the heavens were opened to him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting upon him. And suddenly, a voice came from heaven saying, Onyawa, this is the one. This is the one we've been waiting for. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And God says to you today, church, you are my beloved son. In you I am well pleased. You are my beloved daughter. In you I am well pleased. And then Jesus was led up by the Spirit. So now he was with the Spirit of God into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. I won't go into that. He didn't, he didn't take him to go and be tempted. The devil was trying to tempt him and he led him. But what I'm interested in is Matthew 4. Now, verse 17. Very important. Matthew 4, 17. From that time, everybody say, from that time, Jesus began to preach. From which time? From which time? Huh? After his baptism. Was it just some ordinary water baptism? The Holy Spirit descended upon him and, I can't hear you, remained upon him. From that time, Jesus began to preach. And we'll see later what he began to preach. The whole reason why he came. Mark 1. Let's look at Mark's account. Mark 1 verse 9. And it came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And immediately, coming up from the water, he saw the heavens parting. And, is that where I am? Yes. And the Spirit descending upon him like a dove. 
Then a voice came from heaven. You're my beloved son, in whom I'm well pleased. Immediately the spirit drove him into the wilderness. And he was there in the wilderness 40 days, tempted by Satan. And was with the wild beasts, and the angels ministered to him. Now after John was put in prison. Is he again time? Once that ended, Jesus came to Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom. What did we find out the gospel of the kingdom was? The gospel of the, of the blessing. And saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Luke's account. This is how Jesus went from dormant presence of God mode to active mode. Then Jesus looked for being filled with the Holy Spirit. Luke 4, 1 to 2. Then Jesus, being filled with the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being tempted for 40 days by the devil. In those days he ate nothing, and afterwards, when they had ended, he was hungry. Verse 16. So he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up to read. And he was handed the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. And Jesus began to declare his manifesto. What is the first thing he said? The spirit of the Lord. This is my empowerment. This is why I can operate in active mode. This is where I can evidence the presence of God. This is where I can release the blessing. This is why the glory of God is what you're going to behold moving forward. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has anointed me, like I'm anointed this morning, to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Then he closed the book, gave it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all who were in the synagogue were fixed on him. And he began to say to them, today this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. So all bore witness to him and marveled are the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, is this not Joseph's son? Is this not dormant mood? No, something has changed. The empowerment of the Holy Spirit has come upon him and it's no longer dormant mood. He released his manifesto. Church, there is one word that can summarize that manifesto. And what is that word? I can't hear you. But what was the game changer? The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a game changer in your life. The Holy Spirit is who keeps you in active mode. The Holy Spirit is who gets you maximizing the blessing. The Holy Spirit is who gets you revealing the glory of God. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not just a good feeling. He's a person. It's not to come, what are you, what does your life reveal? Do you, it's interesting how people go to churches or places where the curse is magnified. And they're speaking in tongues. Can you see it's incongruous? How can you be speaking in tongues? Trying to break a curse. Or talking about a curse. God has no business. He turns the curse into a blessing. That's his business. 
if you are filled with the Holy Spirit, you are filled with the game changer. You are filled with the presence of God. And you reveal the glory of God. What is the glory of God? The manifestation of the expressions. Who God is. What he essentially does. The glory of God. The glory of God being revealed. That is the game changer in your life, church. So a blessed man is a carrier of the presence of God. And he reveals the glory of God. The Bible says the first miracle Jesus did was he turned water into wine. And the Bible calls it a manifestation of the glory of God. A manifestation of how the blessing takes you from your needs to a place of luxury. People read that and they use it to say, can we not drink alcohol? Was it juice that Forget about those arguments. It was not juice. But like I was discussing recently, if you go and read the Bible, the Bible is overwhelmingly leaned towards advising you not to drink alcohol. Take all the scriptures in the Bible. Only a dummy won't take counsel. God takes counsel from himself. He says he does all things after the counsel of his will. Even before God does something, God advises himself with his will. Before God releases his power anywhere, God will counsel, what does my will say about this? If this is my will, then I will do it. If God takes counsel, you too will take counsel. So nobody had told you that alcohol is a sin. But what is the overwhelming counsel of the word of God when it comes to booze? But that's not the message in that story. When Jesus turned water into wine, the Bible says he manifested, showed forth the glory of God. It was an expression of the blessing to take them from their needs to a place of luxury because you can do without wine. It was an expression of the glory when Lazarus was raised from the dead. He said to his sister, Did I not say to you that you would see the glory of God? This sickness is not unto death. It is for the glory of God to be made manifest. Church, I want you to intentionally be hungry for the revealing of the glory of God in your life. I want you to ramp up your expectations like God said. It should no longer be business as usual. You carry the blessing. You have the presence of God within you. Every day should be an expression of the blessing in your life. Every single day. And that's how the Bible says, the word became flesh and dwelt among us. First of all, in dormant mode and then into active mode. He continued to dwell among us and we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten son. The glory of God, the same glory as the Father, was what we beheld. If it is the same gospel of the blessing, it means the gospel of the blessing you heard has the potential for you to release the same glory that Jesus released when he walked on this earth. No wonder he's called the firstborn from the dead. And he's called the last Adam. He closed one chapter and opened a new one. And no longer you found in the old chapter or in the old book, he was the last Adam. He shut it down and he began a new dispensation. A dispensation of men who are empowered by the Holy Spirit. Men who know they carry the blessing of God. Men who do not consider it robbery to know that they are like God. Men who reveal the glory of God. Men who their blessing mindset doesn't make them arrogant, but makes them people responsible. Men who know they are blessed to be a blessing. Men 
who are carriers of the presence of God. Men who walk into their workplaces and they're different. People say, oh, your perfume is so strong. When you walk in, I knew it was you. Is that their only testimony about you? Walk in and let the glory of God walk in with you. Walk in. Let your speech, let even your jokes reveal the blessing of God and be a blessing to somebody. He was a firstborn from the dead, but we are a born. I'm a born, and you're a born. He was a man who was the presence of God from the beginning. Then he became a man, or he was God rather. He became a man, put himself in dormant mode, encountered the game changer, went into active mode, and we beheld his glory. Next week, we're going to see how he now became a man who departed from the presence of God. Lift your hands and give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. The glory of God is in this place. The glory of God is in this place. I know it because the presence of God is in this place. I know it because the blessing the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he's anointed me to be a carrier of the blessing and I know the blessing is transferable so it's a pleasure it's a good pleasure of God to manifest himself to you this morning it's a good pleasure of God for you to enjoy expressions of the blessing that is present because his presence is here. If his presence is here, it means his glory is here. It means his glory Expect more, God told us. Expect even more. Thank you, Jesus. Where is the person who can't hear in one ear? You were challenging one of your ears. In one of your ears. Every head bow. Where are you? Put your hand in that ear. You have the blessing. Therefore, we reveal the glory of God. Ear be opened now. We command you. In the name of Jesus, be made every which whole. In Jesus' name. Check your ear and begin to hear. In the name of Jesus. And just wave your hand and give a shout of praise. Once you confirm that you're hearing. Are you hearing in that ear? I can't hear you. Yes, I see. Wave it, wave it wildly if you're hearing. Awesome. Church is waving his hand wildly. Give a shout of praise. Somebody else on that part, your ear is also opened. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody has something spinning around in your head. You have a sensation of something spinning around in your head. Where are you? I can't see the person. Put your hand. Yeah. Put your hand on your head. That's not of God. We command it to cease. That spinning ends now in the name of Jesus. We carry the presence. We have the blessing and we know it. And so we reveal the glory of God. It's done in the name of Jesus Christ. Some people with skin conditions are getting healed by the power of God. The impossible specialist, the miracle worker, the sovereign God is here. He's here in his presence. Brinta Kusavai, and he's here to bless. He's here to pour out his goodness without measure. He's here. Skin conditions, just lift up your hand. It's more than one person. Yes, skin conditions. Skin conditions. Forget about what they've been called rashes, scabies, skin conditions. In the name of Jesus, dry up. 
skin I speak to you. Your body reveals the glory of God. Skin conditions are healed, dried up by the power of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God said to me, that when you talk about the blessing, you talk about the fullness of the blessing. That means there is no deficiency. And that's for somebody who has medically been told that they have a deficiency in their body. I hear iodine, but it may be something else as well. You've been told, not that you think, you've been told by doctors that there is a deficiency in something in your body. Lift up your hand if you're the one. Just lift it up. Where are you? I can't see that. Yes. Is there anybody else? Is it iodine? Somebody specifically is iodine deficiency. So now we begin to fill it up. Whatever the level is supposed to be. That chemical, that hormone, whatever it is. Right now with the cup of the blessing, we pour. <laughs> with the cup of the blessing, we pour and we pour and we pour and we pour to the fullness to exactly the right range you're supposed to have in your temple. That is the way to reveal the glory of God. It is done. That deficiency is filled up for there is no lack where the fullness of the blessing is in operation. It is done. It is settled in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Somebody has a very painful boil. It may be more than one. Painful boil in some part of your body. Lift your hand and wave it around. It's very painful, not just a pimple. Yes. I curse that boil in the name of Jesus Christ. Be punctured or dematerialized or whatever wants to happen to you, just be gone. And all the evil purse and pus and blood and whatever needs to come out of you, out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Out now with no smell of smoke. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's settled and it's done. Because the glory has to be revealed where the presence of God is. And where the blessing is in operation. We have the game changer. We know who we are in Christ. We're blessing minded intentionally so. And we take all that God has in store for us. Glory be to God. Lift your hands and worship him. Somebody with a stubborn soul. A very stubborn soul. I don't know if it's a diabetic soul. But as God heals that soul, he heals you of that disease as well. Someone with a stubborn soul is getting healed by the power of God. A stubborn soul. A soul that refuses. Your hand up. Put your hand where the soul is. We release the power of God into that soul even right now. We pour the balm of Gilead and it begins to heal even right now. Perfectly. Perfectly. To the astonishment of the doctors and even yourself. It's done. It's dried up. Call it dried up going forward. In the name of Jesus Christ. Asthma is getting healed by the power of God. Don't buy that lie that asthma is forever. There is nothing that is outside of the blessing that is not temporary. The curse should be temporary. The blessing is permanent and eternal. Asthma is not under the blessing. We don't want it. We don't need it. It is not part of us. It is not your identity. Let this mind be in you. God does not have asthma. Don't consider it robbery to be a child of God. Asthma leaves now. Get up and depart from that body. Even right now, in the name of Jesus. A child with a stubborn fever. That fever breaks now in the name of Jesus Christ. Where is that child? Yes. Bring that child to me. God just told me about you right now. A child with a stubborn fever. We need to get that fever out of that child. That child is a blessed child. That child belongs to Jesus Christ. That child belongs to Jesus Christ. 
That child belongs to Jesus Christ. That child belongs to Jesus Christ. Fever departs now in the name of Jesus. Be gone in the name of Jesus Christ. You are healed, perfect, blessed, whole. And you reveal the glory of God. And you are my namesake. This is kitchen here, isn't it? Totally healed. In Jesus' name, give God praise. Give God praise. See the fever, the waka, they go. You don't go. Give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. We beheld his glory because he carried the presence of God in active mode. And we have the Holy Spirit. So we're active with the blessing and we reveal the glory of God. Lift your hands and give God praise. Breakthrough is happening everywhere. Breakthrough. He says, it's not enough. No. God began time to start my blessing clock. My blessing clock is ticking. Expect favor at work. Expect favor at home. Expect favor even when you're driving along the road. Expect the policeman to favor you. Expect the blessing to manifest in the market when you go to buy yam. Expect your customer to stop cheating you. Expect the blessing to show up anytime, anywhere, every opportunity. Be intentionally blessing-minded, presence-minded, and glory-minded. In the name of Jesus Christ, give God praise. Give a shout of praise. Next on Fresh Dew. Any accolades you've won, a loving father, a rich uncle, schools you went to, you even become the president of the nation. They call you and give you GCOFRPQWXYZ. Whatever announcement is made, the climax of it, the most important is the blessing. Romans 10, 17 says, So then, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You can order today's message and other past messages on our website store, freshdew.tv. It is available on MP3 and CD and also on MP4 and DVD just as seen on TV. Fresh Dew, giving you fresh inspiration and direction for your life. Thank you for watching Fresh Dew today with Pastor Nkichi Ene. We trust you were blessed by today's episode. For further information on Fresh Dew, please call us on 0700 fresh Dew, which is 0700 3737 4339. If you're calling from outside Nigeria, the number will be plus 234 700 3737 4339. Our phones are open from 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. GMT plus one. You can also send us an email to info at freshdew.tv and we'll be glad to serve you. We also invite you to like, follow, and interact with us on our Twitter and Facebook pages at Fresh Dew TV and also on Pastor Nkechi's Facebook pages at Pastor Ketch. For more information on how you can partner with Fresh Dew and receive Pastor Nkechi's monthly letters and weekly MP3 gifts, please visit our website www.freshdew.tv. Once again, thanks for being with us today and we look forward to seeing you next time on Fresh Dew to receive fresh inspiration and direction for your life.